Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's chakra energy reading. These are um, a special I'm doing right now. So if you want one, you can purchase one. <laughs> um, the mini chakra reading is $15 and the full size is 45. So a mini, I'm just gonna pull one chakra card for you. Whereas the, um, the full size, we're going to go into all seven chakras. Um, so that's like the difference. If you are interested in one, I will put the link below where you can submit payment for a reading. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. So for my client, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have the chakra cards um, visible so that you could see them. So, so when I'm like discussing it with you, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you hear noise, I have the window open just a crack because I have incense going to my right and I don't want to get the room all cloudy and like smoky and the detector going off. So <laughs> just so you know. And for the reading, the chakra cards are from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. I'm going to be using the Tarot de la Nuit or Noir, <laughs> that deck, as well as the Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, and we're just going to go through all seven of your chakras and, um, it's just a chakra intuitive reading and energy reading. And we're going to just see like where you're at, what your energy looks like, what's coming up. We're just literally just going to go through with it. Um, if spirit has certain things that they want to say or want you to know, I will say it and share it with you. Okay, so I just heard self-discovery. So this might be part of the theme here, but we'll see what happens. But I heard self-discovery. So this could be Spirit's way of saying, um, you know, maybe you are on the path of learning more about yourself or you're on the path of discovering new things about yourself or this year is going to be all about that. But that's what I heard, self-discovery. You never know, this could be the year that you learn something new about yourself. Something major, you know, like lessons and whatnot. So the first chakra we're going to be looking into is the root. It's associated with the color red. Root chakra is um, all about your groundedness. It is where you are rooted and how stable you feel in life. So we're going to see what, um, what pops up with that. I just heard unconditional. Now I know like the way that I associate unconditional to me is um, being accepted, being loved and accepted no matter what or who or how you are. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like that's like something that is, it's maybe as a rule that you have in your household. Um, but unconditional is kind of, it's pop, that's what's popping up for you right now. <clears throat> ah, we already got a flipper. Okay. All that glitters, all that glitters. And we have the page of pentacles, ace of cups, knight of pentacles, all that glitters um, is making me feel like your root chakra right now, like the place that you call home, needs a bit of a, um, like a like a one up, a, a makeover, a fixing it up, re revamping it. All that glitters is like kind of just saying like bring some newness into it, rearranging furniture. This is I mean this is in your home or this could be. If you're living, you know, with your with family or whatnot, so this could be like a bedroom or this could be a particular important area in your home that you usually are, that you feel most grounded and stable in. I feel like all that glitters is kind of saying like revamping it. Like that's the vibe I'm getting. 
revamping your root chakra. Um, and a lot of times when you want to revamp it or make it feel good or make it stand out more, um, I would say a good cleanse is in order. So if you have not done your new year cleanse, I would highly suggest doing that. I also feel like all that glitters is saying like for you to do something or bring something new into the mix of your home or your dwelling place, um, rearranging furniture, cleaning it, um, that kind of thing. The Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Pentacle suit is earth energy, okay? So we have pages to knights. Um, and I feel like the page to the knight is showing growth, okay? This is growth and development. This is reaching another stage, another level um, in yourself. So in your earth vibe, you know, you know, you may have recently obtained a goal or reached something new, one, some new level um, in the foundation. And this is kind of like opening up the heart space with the Ace of Cups that I'm seeing, opening up your heart space and being patient in that process. This could be, you know, maybe you are living with somebody new. Maybe you are getting a, you're like kind of adapting to some new changes in the home, um, the home front. This could be, you know, possibilities of a new dwelling place altogether. But your root chakra to me is saying you need a little bit more patience. And I feel like that page of pentacle is almost like um, putting some more attention to some of the things that maybe you've been ignoring lately that usually would make you feel more grounded and more settled. Um, so if you usually like have a little bit of a routine, I feel like this is kind of calling to me to tell you, you need to um, reestablish a new routine, a new healthier routine that makes you feel grounded, especially at the end of the day. I feel like, like intuitively speaking, I feel like at the beginning of the day, you feel really good. You feel really put together. But I feel like at the end of the day, um, you need a little bit of a routine that makes you feel like you combined and you've put together the entire day and you're able to feel at ease. You feel calm. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like that's kind of like <laughs> all over the place. Um... I also feel like this Ace of Cups is almost like needing to release, to let go of emotions and let go of thoughts and like things that are hovering around you. Maybe these are emotions and energies that you've absorbed throughout the day. So I, I'm getting like that feeling like at the end of the day, your base chakra is requiring you to release, to let go of, and to find some sort of a little routine. And it doesn't have to be like this huge drawn out routine. It could be something as simple as, um, you know, setting your intention for the night, letting go of energies, doing a cleanse. I mean, you can light some sage real fast and give yourself a cleanse, or you could um, take a shower at night instead of in the mornings. That would be like a great way to kind of wash yourself away from all of these things because that Ace of Cups is kind of like that overflow of emotion. So you may have absorbed a lot throughout the day. Um, I also see like the pentacles, the, the, the page and knight of pentacles, almost like, um, like you're a patient person. Like you are the one, you were the receiver of a lot of things. You have a lot of people who come to you and talk to you about stuff and you, you tend to absorb it all. So that's like the, that's what I'm gathering from you is um, your root chakra is you're often absorbed so much energy that um, rather than your soil, like I just got an image right now of your soil being muddy, like real murky, um, rather than being sturdy. Okay. So Two little, two little things there. <laughs> the all that glitters is like saying revamping your space, you know, rearranging furniture or bringing something new into the mix. And then the other cards, like the tarot cards are making me feel like you need to release stuff and come up with some like some new routine at night. And this is like a self-care, taking care of yourself routine um, to help you relax and get prepared for going to sleep. You know what I mean? I think that that's what you need more of. So that is your um, your root chakra. Next, we're going to talk about the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is orange. This sits at your abdomen. This is your creative energy. This is your motivation. This is your willpower. This is your your creation. Your your creativity. Your just just everything that you get when it when it comes to 
wanting to create or manifest things. Um, it's also sexual energy. It's your hormones, and, um, your mojo, like all of that too. I just saw a red light. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, when I see a red light, like I feel like it was like a little stoplight. Okay. So, and then the, <laughs> the Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of, um, the Six of Cups came up. Um, and so I feel like sexuality, like sexual wise, um, you, you kind of milk and honey. Milk and honey is like to me thinking me thinking of the mixture of sweetness. Um, I feel like you need to be wooed again. I feel like your sexual energy has kind of been like it's it hasn't been what it used to be. I pulled the hierophant card when I was thinking that, and I feel like hierophant card is so like rigid. You know what I mean? I feel like it's so rigid. So this could either be. A significant other in your life or this could just be the the vibration of your sexual energy but I feel like it's very rigid I feel like you need to be more fluid um, with your with your sexuality not saying like you know fluid in general like of being with everybody and anyone <laughs> but I mean fluid as in like be more loose like be more don't be so rigid about it, you know? I feel like you need you need to kind of like push aside certain thoughts or certain um, uh, expectations or limitations on yourself and just be more fluid, go with the flow of things. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, you're getting a lot of Aces. Ace of Pentacles to me is an opportunity that will be coming towards you. The Six of Cups came up though. This could be someone from the past. This could be an ex. This could be um, memories of an ex or a literal ex coming into your life again. I don't know what your relationship status is and, and you know all of that, but the Six of Cups is kind of like someone from the past coming back or this could be memories of the past haunting you, okay? And I feel like with that sense, what is that? Oh, okay, it's just the smoke. <laughs> I'm like freaking myself out right now because like, I could see the smoke, but it like looked like it was a shadow, but it's just the smoke. Sorry. Anyways, the Six of Cups is um is making me think of, like I said, it could be a literal person coming back from your past, or it could be memories of the past which have contributed or contributed to the lack of feeling sexually connected with yourself. Um, so you're, you're putting limitations on yourself or whatnot. If you're in a relationship, this could show maybe, you know, things have kind of gotten a little bit more routine and that's not as exciting anymore. So the fulfillment of, you know, revamping, like adding some pizzazz and reigniting the flame in your sexual life may be in order. Um, but the Ace of Pentacles says, you know, there's opportunities there. So I feel like, you know, there's going to be an opportunity for advancement in that. So you will you will get your mojo back. It's just, I feel like you, you need to be a little bit more fluid. Um, the milk and honey is just sweetness to me is making me think it's sweetness. Like you need, you need them, the person that you are either um, physical with to woo you and make you feel pampered you know and this is also for the self because we have this cute little elephant in this bowl of milk and honey I don't know if you could see that with all the glare but I feel like that is almost like pampering yourself okay so this isn't just about your sexual relationship with other people this is also yourself so you know pampering yourself and whatnot but I feel like this six of cups is bugging me like I feel like this is the need to release past memories past traumas that maybe keep you from um, being sexually liberated. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's what's in order right now. And and these chakra energy readings are, are typically like, I just, I come at it as like what's going on right now, okay? So and def definitely like some past stuff pops up, um, which is like helping or not helping you connect with other people. Um, and it, it can be a, quite a 
they could be, you know, not so comfortable at times. Next, we're going to talk about the solar plexus chakra. This one rests at your belly. This is your health. This is your gut instincts. This is your joy, your happiness detector, all of the above. So let's see what's in store with that. I heard indulge. <laughs> so um, there could have been a period of time where you indulged in your goodies. Maybe you do that to help make you feel better. It, this could be a sign of emotional eating. This could be a sign of, um, you know, you reward yourself with food, like with good food, foods that you love. But I heard indulge. Now, I can also take indulge to mean um, indulging in more things that make you feel happy. So maybe you need to surround yourself more so with things or people that just make you feel good, okay? TikTok, interesting. So TikTok came up with the Ten of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So there's definitely been um, a little bit of indulging. I feel like that Three of Cups is almost like indulging on drinks, indulging on you know good times, indulging in little excuses for oh let's go celebrate this thing, let's go eat over here, you know that kind of stuff. Um, the Ten of Wands is almost like a block. It's almost a hindrance. It's something that is trying to keep you from success or keep you from obtaining a goal. And that side-by-side -side TikTok tells me that maybe for a while you've been trying to or wanting to get more healthy. You've been wanting to change your habits. Maybe there's things that keep you from happening, being happy and um, you're trying to find a way to release yourself from those blocks. The Four of Swords is the need to stop being, I'm taking this as a need to stop being um, um, apathetic to it. This is a time for you to actually get up and move, okay? So the Four of Swords usually is, I, I would take that as um, a card of meditation. I'm sorry for the glare, you guys. This, this deck is just super, super glossy. <laughs> Um, I would normally take the four of swords as a sign of a need to slow down or meditation, but actually for you intuitively, I would read this as the, <clears throat> the reversal and I'm reading this as, um, the need to get up and move. Like it's time to take a handle of what you want. And if that is better health, if that is maybe making a doctor's appointment that you've been putting off, if that is, um, changing your eating habits or whatnot, your exercise routine, it needs to happen. It needs to happen. And the TikTok is kind of saying like, you are the only reason why you haven't done it yet. You are your own worst enemy in that. Okay. So really interesting. That one was like, that one was clear as day. <laughs> and I feel like that indulge, like I said, spirit was saying, or was like having me here indulge as like the key word of, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with celebrating and wanting to celebrate, you know, something and, and have something good to eat. But there is something wrong when it's like excessive and it's constant. You know, I know I do that too. I do that too. <laughs> but that's just, that's what's popping up there, okay? Okay, next we're going to talk about the heart chakra. So this is associated with the color green. It rests obviously in your chest where your heart is. This is your emotions. This is the way you receive and the way you give love. This is all about your emotional well-being. Seven of Wands just popped out. This deck is so glossy, like... I'm afraid of the cards flying everywhere. The death card, five of wands, interesting. You've been battling something. And again, this is a past issue. I feel like that death card in the five of wands, this is something that you've battled for quite some time. This is a past issue where it's either a person, something someone did or said to you. And again, it's, it's a block in the heart source, which I can understand why now 
your sacral chakra, your sexual chakra would be a little bit blocked. Um, because if your heart source, if you're not feeling it from the heart at the moment, of course, that's the next thing that closes up. A change in the wind. Change in the wind with the death card popping up for you is telling me that this is going to change. There's going to be movement happening. That there's going to be, like pretty much you're going to get out of the rut. That's just what I just heard. She's going to get out of the rut. But this death card with the five of wands makes me feel like this is something from the past. This death card just makes me feel like it's something from the past. It's something that has already been done and dealt with. It's just kind of like you got to just move on from it. But the five of wands is telling me that this is literally like an endless battle for you. This is something that just, it keeps coming back. And the seven of wands too. This one is just like all about um, fighting things that are trying to get to you, um, that are trying to harm you, okay? So with the heart, I feel like it's almost like it makes you, like if I just heard it's hard to trust it's hard for you to trust people. This could be romantic wise, but this could also be friendship wise. It's just in general, it's hard for you to trust. It's hard for you to open up. It's hard for you to be very sexual at times. Um, when your heart's not in it, nothing else is going to be. So that's what I'm seeing there. But the change of wind is also making me feel like eventually this issue is gonna pop up again. And I feel like it does that, like it goes in cycles. It comes up and then it leaves. It comes up and then it leaves. Because if you do nothing about it, it'll go away, but then it'll always come back. So I feel like that's what is going to happen is it's going to come back um, if you don't tackle the issue. Okay, my love? Sorry, I keep touching my hair and everything, but I'm like, <laughs> I do that. It's like one of those, one of those things. Okay. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about the throat chakra. This is in your throat, obviously. It's your communication. It's your self-expression. It is associated with the color blue. Um, your throat chakra is just, it's one of the most powerful energy sources that you have because it's the way that you express yourself. It's the way that you communicate and share bits about yourself to other people. So peace came up for you for the throat chakra telling me that really it's in a good state right now. Semi, okay? With the heart chakra being where it's at and your sacral chakra being where it's at, the throat chakra being at peace could be either you want to keep the peace so you don't say anything. Um, maybe this means that you are, you would rather just, rather than dealing with it, which is what we were just talking about with the cycle, you would rather keep the peace. So you don't say anything. You don't do anything about it. We have the nine of pentacles. We have the six of pentacles. You get a lot of pentacle cards too, by the way. Lots of earthy energy around you. And the hierophant again. So this could be, um, a hierophant can definitely portray that specific person perhaps that's in your past. Um, you know, or in your present, whatever, whoever this person could be that is causing maybe some of this stuff. Um, because hierophant, hierophant popped up again when with the, I think it was a sacral chakra, where I was saying really rigid, but this can also display a certain person in your past that has been the reason why you have some of these feelings. Um, the Six of Pentacles is the way that you receive and take, take and receive the, the exchange. And the Nine of Pentacles is telling me that you're all about everybody else. You're all about helping other people and expansion for them. Um, so I feel like when it comes to you um, allowing your assistance to other people, like allowing yourself to help others, you are always there, which is why you have people who always come to you, who have people who have people always talking to you about their problems um, and just kind of like 
emotionally vomiting all over you <laughs> and then you soak it up like a sponge um and I feel like it makes you feel good knowing that you're helping them but I feel like you also don't realize that you're absorbing it all and you don't have anywhere to put it and a lot of times when you absorb other emotions you don't know where to put it it registers as causing minor blocks in other areas of yourself and so lack of motivation lack of energy lack of sexual drive, all of the above. Um, and so that's what I'm kind of seeing is like, you like to keep the peace with the way your dynamics go with people. And rather than bringing up an uncomfortable situation or bringing up a topic that is a little bit touchy, you would rather just let it go, push it under the rug. I don't want to deal with it. And then it comes into a cycle. It starts turning into a cycle for you. Really interesting stuff with that, my love. Um, next, we're going to talk about your third eye. So obviously, that is your third eye. It is your intuitive sense. It is your psychic ability. It is your ability to listen to your intuition, your gut instincts, all of that. <laughs> oh, this one flew out. The Two of Cups came out. This could be two guides that you have. The King of Swords. The Strength card. So I feel like with your third eye, you have two guides that are coming forward. Uh, <clears throat> King of Swords energy and Strength energy. One is like a protector. The other one is very, um, very straightforward, okay, leadership type, like they're, they're there to, to help you and to guide you and lead you where you need to be, but they're also like no nonsense, okay, they're kind of like that, that strict parent, and then the strength one is to me is like a protector, and this is somebody who, who is there for you when you feel like nobody is, and like no one else is, like when you're alone, um, but I feel like like that two of cups is just kind of making me feel like God, it's like a they're two spirit guides. Um, and then we have higher power. <laughs> so definitely your guides are coming through right now. Um, I feel like higher power is also saying. Oh, that is so cool. I never noticed this about the card. So higher power this I was literally immediately drawn to this little thing right there. That's a key, a key in your third eye. Isn't that crazy? So I feel like for you, the message is you need to learn to unlock the key. You have the key. You need to learn to unlock your third eye chakra. You need to utilize it more. You need to trust it more. Your guides are there. They obviously have popped through and they want to communicate with you. They want to help you, but that you need to acknowledge them. And then you also need to just simply ask them, help me, give me a sign that you are here, that kind of thing, you know, and trust what happens, trust what happens, because a lot of times we'll ask for a sign, and then something will happen, and we'll think, oh, was that my sign, yes, it is, like, just trust it, <laughs> and the more you trust it, it, the more it'll happen for you, and then you'll just start knowing, and you'll feel them around you, but I feel like this higher power card is almost like God saying, like, I'm here, you, but you need to unlock your lock, unlock it you have the key unlock it to allow these things to come through okay so your third eye chakra is definitely there it's strong but I feel like you're not utilizing it as much as you should and I feel like this after this reading you're probably going to start feeling it um or noticing like little subtle signs and stuff so let this be like the beginning of a new journey for you <laughs> trusting your intuition more and last but not least, we have the crown chakra. This is like your communication to spirit. This is your faith. This is your um, just your ability to channel. It's similar to the third eye, but I like to look at it as like your faith, your spiritual journey.
Hierophant. That is a lesson for you. Hierophant, Eight of Cups, walking away from it, and Five of Cups, regrets. This is a lesson. And okay, so the fact that he's coming up, the Hierophant is coming up again with the crown chakra is telling me that a lot of your lack of confidence, a lot of your self-esteem issues, your doubts, your inability to move forward, lack of energy and motivation is coming from <laughs> is coming from this past, this past issue that you you need to deal with. Um new life came up. So I feel like it's like, it's almost like saying you need to have faith that you are able to embrace new life. You were, this could be either babies, okay? New life can be giving birth. It could be a literal pregnancy, or this could be embracing new life and embracing the idea that you can have an amazing life without your past, you know what I mean? Like moving forward from that because the Eight of Cups came up and Eight of Cups is walking away walking away from past emotions and five of cups is regrets and sorrow and so i feel like it's like you hold on to it for some reason or you're un unable to move on from it and quite frankly that whole mix-up is what is causing other areas of your energy sources to be a little jumbled you're not unhealthy like i'm not saying that I'm simply saying if you want to embrace new life, if you want to embrace certain things in life and, and just feeling overall good and grounded and put together, this Hierophant card has got to go. Like this is really giving me the feeling this is somebody or something in the past that has happened to you or has done something to you that you're unable to move on from. And so that's what's popping up for you, my love. This concludes your chakra energy reading. I hope that this gave you something to consider and think about and hopefully motivate you to do something about. Um, if you have any questions about your reading, please email me, let me know. And anyone who's watching, if you would like one of these readings, I have a mini version, $15, or a full-size reading, which is the one I just did. $45, click the link in the description box and put in your order. Make sure you let me know, um, you know, any, any questions or whatever, any insight you have in the notes when you put the, when you place the order. Um, and I will be with you shortly. <laughs> Thanks you guys. And I will talk to you later. Bye my loves.